Xbox, with the inclusion of ML slash Tensor hardware in PlayStation 5 Pro, why do you think Sony hasn't invested in a machine learning based frame generation technology like the LSS FG? Do you think, well, uh, my take on this is that um, obviously that be a, Sony would be aware of the potential of what their machine learning block can do, but you've got to remember that it takes minimum four years to make a console. And so they wouldn't have mm-hmm. really been aware of frame generation as a concept when they first started, you know, architecting the silicon. Um, Alex, thoughts? Yeah, so the machine learning part is just one part of what makes DLSS FG possible. Yes. The reason why it's not an ampere has to do with the uh, the what is the optical flow motion flow encoder. Yeah, optical flow accelerator being like one quarter or one half the speed in ampere, which would make it untenable from either a at least Nvidia's perspective, quality and or performance. They would either have to reduce the quality of the the optical flow to like quarter res, which is something I think you see actually in, uh, excuse me, FSR three, or um, yeah. So they would need to maybe use that kind of hardware to make the frame time worth it, uh, and that would be more hardware. I mean the there is pro- there is a like uh, a, a the ability to record videos from your PlayStation 5 on the PlayStation 5 with a hardware dedicated hardware block, right? Yeah. Um but it's probably not up to the quality that would be used for something like DLSS 3 FG. So I think I think it's it's not just, I think they could research it and they probably this is like this is probably an amazing uh like like first step for them because they're going to get all of those ICE people and Sony first party studios that are going to maybe want to do something special with this and it's going to flow back into uh, their design. One thing that I didn't talk about, like today we talked about how PSSR was pretty um, easy to count and had issues in some areas uh, that DLSS just doesn't have, but they have the advantage of designing their games around its existence. So they could avoid areas that where it has trouble. You know what I mean? Like that's like that's what they do with checkerboard rendering in games. They try not throw a lot of things on screen that checkerboarding sucks at, right? So you know there is greater quality to be had even without changing PSSR's algorithm. Uh, it's just a matter of designing the games around PSSR from the get go, and these are all just patches at the moment. So yeah, there's that. But I think Sony is going to use the PS5 Pro's existence to kickstart all their ML research uh, for whatever PS6 has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if actually, you know, going back to Turing on NVIDIA, it, you needed to make the hardware to actually kick off the rev- the revolution. You know, if you haven't got a, a good degree of hardware out there with users, nobody's going to touch the technology. So it's a necessary mm-hmm. step. So I think it is just basically a case of patience, really. Do you have anything to say about this one, Oliver? Uh, not not too much, I, but I would say that, like, you know, there is a technology for this that possibly, uh, well, definitely could run on PS5 Pro, which is uh, FSR3. And yep. who knows, maybe that could be integrated with PSSR. And then all of a sudden you have a very potent right. uh, upscaling and frame generation technology combination there. So yep. that could very much be a possibility. And I think, like, you know, FSR3 is pretty good. So yeah, I don't think it's there's perfectly urge- viable for for consoles yeah. for sure yeah the need is not as urgent yeah, yeah. as the uh, image upscaling need <laughs> that sony seems to have addressed with pssr it's not quite as urgent there for the console i would say 